and universities. Why doing professors in ChatGPT can answer questions in any subject, anytime, anywhere, for free? Can you add that to the next slide? Thank you. Why do you spend hours writing papers if ChatGPT can write them in seconds? What is worth learning and how will we do it? Meanwhile, another AI, applied improv, is trying us. How do students thrive in volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous situations? What if we teach without giving lectures, sitting in chairs, and taking notes? What if we play, laugh, and then learn? Most professors go, say what? <laughs> it's unclear which AI is more unsettling, artificial intelligence or applied improv. <laughs> this day, this question occurred to me. Can ChatGPT uh, play improv games? I got very excited. I went online, created an account, and started my first chat to find out. I type in my prompt, can you play the improv game with me? Instantaneously, it spewed out much more than I expected. There's, um, there's a voice over that, but it's not, but it's okay. So can you see the instructions? So it not only answered yes, I'll be happy to play the improv game with you, more than that, it suggests it initiated a game for us to play, word at a time story. So, we will start by saying one word at a time to create a story. The first person will start with one word, and the next person will continue with another, and so on. So, we will um, continue until we reach a satisfying conclusion, or we run out of ideas. So, for example, I'll start with the word once, and then you could say a pond, and then I say a, uh, and so on, until we create a full sentence or story. Are you ready to give it a try? This is all GPT, GPT by the way. And so you say, okay, we'll start with the word one. So instead of me telling you how my game went, you are going to experience it yourself. So you're going to find a partner. Next, please. And the taller person will be GPT, the shorter person will be a human being, you. Two of you will play word at a time story for about 30 seconds, and then um, we'll see how it goes. Is it clear what we're about to do? I know you have drinks and foods and you have backpacks on the chairs, so if you could just stand up gently without knocking anything off the tables and find a partner, taller person, Story. ChatGPT will start with the word one. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> How did it go? Uh, stay with your partner. Stay with your partner. Now, you're going to share uh, the first person, the chat. Uh, GPT will share. What is it like to be chat GPT in this game? In a few words, how did you feel? Next slide, please. Just share with your partner. What is what's your experience of being chat GPT?
Applied improv explores other areas of intelligence that go beyond simply processing information and thinking logically. Finally, what is the right education? Jay Krishnamurti says, Warner's quote, the man knows how to split the atom, but there has no love in his heart, becomes a monster, unquote. AI knows how to split the atom, but has no heart. But has no heart. So splitting atom, and we apply improvisers, we do not know how to break, break the atoms. But we know how to build communities that intensify learning and living through joy, love, and compassion. Splitting atom is impressive, while knowing love is profound. What is your choice? How do we learn life and love through artificial intelligence or through applied improv? In this phase of in higher education, do you see which AI is worth most worthwhile? Thank you.